Hello, it's Stefan Pape, and this is day two of the Shooting Stars adventure. We've got a fantastic day lined up for you. We've obviously got the kickoff show this morning where everything begins with Edith Bowman hosting and all of our stars will then be meeting the press for the first time, which is going to be great for them. They'll probably have to answer the same questions over and over again, but that's what being a movie star is all about. Following that, we've got an equity in casting conversation, which we're really looking forward to. It should be a fascinating dialogue amongst professionals before at the end of the day, it's the social hub the virtual place for us to hang out and have a drink the main thing today is to look at and discover and talk about the new talents and uh, personally i couldn't be more excited variety has loved working with european promotion all of these uh, uh, 25 years uh, literally getting close to that so let's get on with the show we have created this digital house which we named the home of acting talent there we are there you all are welcome one and all what a fantastic and wonderful group do you mind me asking if you're if the reality met the expectation of, of working with him oh yes but what do you hope for the future of of art house cinema to be really close to his own own eyes, you know, mm -hmm. and to let enter the other people in, in this universe. The acting is, itself was my dream. It's the most important reason to do anything. My character was very, a very confident woman who also could be uh, vulnerable in the same time. Frankly, I had no idea what this whole story was when I, when I started it and more reason so to to tell the story can you walk away from some projects having learned something about yourself in every project i'm taking something out of myself it starts with thinking about your prejudices the criticism was that we have only white actors so we thought we give it a platform to discuss and i love that this idea that you know where we can start to affect change i think it's also uh, the lack of diversity and also in terms of stories and scripts the only roles that i could have played was a hooker in night shift <laughs> and a maid in francis asian american you know my family's pakistani and to see someone who's just playing like a character that yeah. it's not about his background it's not about his ethnicity per se make your own films make play a role that you've never done and show that get it into a festival i guess because when you when you speak to the press you've got to be kind of on your on your a game all day it must be quite exhausting in some ways it can be quite challenging sometimes with uh with questions like these for example yeah it's just a lot of questions and uh going back in time um for me, I mean, it's a lot of uh, references to uh, to old projects as well, which is really nice. And that concludes a wonderful second day. There was a fantastic kickoff show this morning. We loved seeing all the shooting stars get the praise and the credit that they deserve in front of the global press. And obviously afterwards, the interviews that took place, we even we spoke to, to Nicola today and he was a fantastic conversation and the dialogue was brilliant amongst all of them today. And then we sat through the, uh, the equity and casting conversation, which was really fascinating stuff. We took so much from that. And then of course, we ended the day with a nice drink. It was a really promising day our shooting stars you can tell are starting to get to know each other even more and we can't wait to see what's in store for the third and final day of this year's event